Hey friends, it's Julie and welcome to your cardio bonus workout. So you can do this on your days off where you just want a little bit of cardio or if you just want to add this to an end of a workout, this would be something you can throw in at any time. So what we have is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're going to go through these rounds three times. Okay. You don't need any equipment. It's going to be low impact. This should be very easy on the knees. Yay, are you guys excited? We're gonna get warm and we're gonna jump into this. Here we go with step touches. Just some step touches here, just so we can get a little heat going in the body, and then we're gonna jump into this workout. And take this into butt kicks. So pull the heel up. Now I want you to kick it to the front. And drop the heel and sit on back. Let's just stretch out the hamstring a little bit right here. We're gonna be in and out in under 30 minutes, so yay! And switch. Okay, come on up. Go ahead and step back with one foot, press that heel towards the ground, let's get the calf. And let's switch. And come on up. And let's just light jog. Okay, are you ready to do this? So, what we'll do is we'll go through the entire set and then we'll go back to the top. Do that again. All right? So, it's gonna be fun. We got a little bit of kickboxing here, a little bit of mix of this and that. This was something I did on Instagram that was requested. So, filming it for you, we're gonna do it together. Are you ready? Okay, first exercise, we have high-low jabs. You're gonna reach, reach, low, low. High, high, low, low, all right? That's what we're gonna be doing. We've got 40 seconds of that. Grab a sip of water real quick, let's get ready. Okay, now, I want you to give me the, all the energy you've got. You keep this low impact, but I need you to give me energy, all right? We wanna keep the intensity up even when the impact is low. Take a deep breath. Nice stance in the feet. Are you ready? Let's go. Reach, reach, low, low. Reach, reach, low, low. Now I want you to keep your core engaged as we do this. And what I would love is for you to give me big, movements okay really reach stretch that arm across like this it's not very big right no i want you to go for it give me a big reach and rest okay you got a little rest what we're going to go into two front kicks two step backs. So we're gonna kick, kick, back, back. Okay, so two of each. We're gonna keep doing that for the 40 seconds. So kick it to the front and then reach it to the back. All right, are you ready? Take a deep breath, here we go. Kick, kick, reach, reach. Kick, kick, reach, reach, yes. You don't have to kick high, but I want you to give me energy with those kicks. And rest. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do a step touch and a reach. You're gonna step touch, reach, and I want you to even come up on your toes. Step touch, little calf raise. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Step touch, calf raise. Give me as big of a step touch as you can. Use your space, all right? You can turn it into a little side leap if you want. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Step touch, reach. Really reach, stretch those arms, come up on those toes.
Okay, we're gonna go into step touch again, but with a side leg lift. So we're gonna step touch, step lift. Step touch, step lift, step touch. So we're gonna squeeze it out right here. So step touch to the side, lift your leg. Are you ready? Keep a little bend in the knees too. Let's work the quads. Here we go. Step touch, lift. So it's kind of two step touches really. Squeeze right there when you lift that leg and make sure that your knees and your toes are pointed forward. Well, my feet are not really moving the floor. They're just kind of shuffling. They're scooting forward and back. <laughs> and rest. Okay, we're back to the top. Back to the top, so we'll be to those high, low jabs. If you need a sip of water before we go again, get one. All right, now you know all of the moves, so this time let's kick it in even more. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. And you're coming across your body. So we get a little core action there with the obliques. to make sure I'm not going to kick the wall behind me. Nothing worse than kicking something with your foot when you don't plan on it. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Kick, kick, reach, reach. Kick, kick, reach, reach. And really jab to the front.
and rest. Okay, step, touch, and reach. Woo! Catch your breath. Get that step touch. We're gonna reach up onto our feet, lift in the heels, get a little calf work there. We got five more seconds. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Really reach. You got goals to reach for? Reach up there and grab them. You can do this. And rest. Okay, we're back to the step touches with the lateral leg lifts. So we got two step touches, little leg lift. Squeeze those glutes, okay? Knees, toes, chalk forward the entire time. We don't want them to get turned out. We want them to be going forward so that we can really isolate here inside the glutes. Ready, here we go. Reach and lift it. Let's do some cardio and sculpting at the same time. You got this. We're almost there. And rest. Okay, we're back to the boxer jumps, and then we're just gonna go through one more time, and we're done. Okay, take a deep breath. Are you ready for this? Little boxer jumps, light on your feet. In three, two, one, here we go. Make sure you're standing tall, you're pulling out of those hips. You can be here if you want to keep an even lower impact. But give this a try, it's really not too hard on the joints. And rest. Okay, one more time through, and this is what we're gonna do. For this last round, we're not gonna rest between any of them at all. We're gonna go one to the other and take out the rest. Yes. We can do this. Are you ready? High lows, here we go. High, high, low, low. High, high, low, low. We're gonna go into the two kicks to the front, the two step backs. We've got five more seconds, we'll go straight into it. 
Ready? Here we go. Kick, kick, step back, step back. Now we have step, touch, and reach next. Are you ready? Here we go. Step, touch, reach. We're just moving from one to the next. butt kicks and the four heel digs. Are you ready? Let's go. Butt kick, butt kick, heel dig, butt kick, heel dig. The last thing we have is the boxer jogs. Boxer dogs. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, now this is our final exercise. We're going to do a quick burnout after we finish this. It's going to be fast feet. Fast feet in and out. And we're just going to go for one minute to burn it out. Really, really tight. You know, we use them 
in everything. Walking, when we've got to lift up on our toes, if you're a runner. Like so many ways that we use our calves, we need to just forget to stretch them. And so they stay tight rather than getting elongated, which is what we want. Because if they're too tight, you can actually decrease your range of motion in your feet. And we want to be able to make our body always feel good. Let's switch. And one of the ways we can do that is by increasing our flexibility. When your body feels stiff and you just feel like, oh gosh, it just hurts to move and my range of motion is so small. We need more flexibility because that will help a ton. And also your body has all this fascia. I like to think of it as little spider webs all over your body. And when you first wake up, they're all tight and pulled together. And so we really want to stretch and break them apart because then your body is going to feel looser, more comfortable, more relaxed and open to stretching for flexibility. So that's why it's so important to stretch and warm up before the workout because we want to break apart that fascia. Okay, come to the top. We're gonna put one heel forward, lift the toe, sit back. We're just gonna get that hamstring. Hamstrings are often the tightest for most people. Um, and it's where we really do need the most flexibility. It will help in the deadlift, it helps with squats, it helps with lunges, it helps with so many things. If you can have lengthened hamstrings, even just touching your toes, simple things are hard to do if your hamstrings are really, really tight but they're not gonna get looser if you don't stretch them. So we gotta work on it. And yes, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> I definitely, that's my tightest muscle. I have to really work on it to keep them lengthened so that they don't feel stiff and make my workouts harder. And switch. You will get a much better range of motion in your exercises if you stretch regularly and work on your flexibility. You'll find like, oh my gosh, I could go deeper in a squat. I could go deeper in a deadlift or whatever it is. And then you get more out of that exercise and you have more potential in your strength, the more flexible your muscle is, but you gotta spend time stretching it. Awesome, come back up. Okay, what we're gonna do is an inchworm. We're gonna roll down our spine out to a plank. Okay, so roll one vertebrae at a time. Once your hands at the floor, walk it on out. Okay, we're in a high plank. I want you to bring one leg forward on the outside of your hand, and now we're in a runner's lunge. I like to take one hand and push my knee out just a little bit. I hit a little of my inner thigh that way, open up my hip, it just feels good for me. If this is an area that's still really tight for you, just do your best. The more you do this, the easier it does get, and the better the stretch feels. But you gotta be consistent. Everything comes back to consistency. Okay, straighten both legs. This is what I like to call a triangle stretch. So we have both legs straight and we're just pushing our chest down towards our thigh. So not our head, but our chest. Just deepening that hamstring stretch even more. And come back down. So you're back into that lunge. Drop your back knee and then sit up tall and Lean forward, we're gonna stretch out the hip flexor. Hip flexors can get really tight too because they stay flexed when we sit. So if you do a lot of sitting for your job, they are just staying flexed all day and they're not getting lengthened. So we wanna make sure we spend time stretching them out so that they don't always feel so uncomfortable. Like you know if you have that problem, if you've got tight hip flexors, it's just like stretching them out just oh, you're like, oh gosh, it's, it doesn't feel good. It's because they're flexed all the time when we sit. So we really want to stretch those out and lengthen them. Okay, come back up to that plank and let's bring the other leg forward. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the other leg. Now, I sit a lot during the day now for my job. I do get up as much as I can during the day, but I sit a lot too. And so I had to really work harder at my flexibility to make sure that those longer periods of sitting don't create shorter muscles. So I'm trying to be really good about stretching as much as I can to keep them elongated even though I'm sitting more than I used to. Okay, both legs straight, triangle. And I'm making sure that 
I get up and move even if it's walking to the bathroom, walking around the building a little bit, going and saying hi to somebody, stretching my legs, whatever it is, and then making sure that I don't miss my workouts in the morning so that I'm staying active, that I go for walks when I can. Come on back down and drop that back knee. When I'm cooking dinner, I try to walk little laps around my kitchen, just keeping my body moving. The more we move our body, the more we increase our metabolism, and the more we keep our joints kind of loose and happy. When we're not moving very much, they just get very stiff. So we really want to focus on movement as much as we can throughout the day. Okay, come back to that plank. Now, right here, from here, I want you to push back to a down dog. Okay, heels towards the floor as best as you can. Stretching down the back of the calves, stretching down the back of the hamstrings, and then push away from the floor so that you're kind of stretching through the shoulders. Walk your feet up to your hands. Hang there a little bit like a little rag doll. And we're gonna slowly roll to the top. Nice and slow. We've got one more little stretch to open up your hips. So toes out, kind of like you're gonna do a sumo squat. Come on down and put your elbows inside your knees and just basically push your knees open. This doesn't look pretty. But it really opens up the hips, stretches the inner thighs. Now, if this is too deep for you, you can be here and use your hands, but aim for getting down there and using those elbows. This feels fantastic to me. I mean, uncomfortably fantastic, if you get what I mean. Like, I can feel my muscles and they're like, oh my goodness. But that's what makes it feel so good because I know they need it. All right, all the way back up to the top. You're done. Yay, thank you for joining me today. This is just a little bonus cardio that was highly requested. Fit this in on your days where you have a bonus day or there is not a scheduled workout for refresh. If you wanna do this on your Wednesday workout, over the weekend, whatever you wanna fit this in, go ahead and do this. Get a little cardio in, get your heart rate up, feeling good, and you got a little extra stretch at the end. And I will see you through the rest of the program. Bye.